amigos, welcome to our channel. We are Andrew and Vic, and of course our huge little sausage Stuart dog. I know this 2020 has been crazy for most of us, and that's why we decided to start living in a way that feels authentic and meaningful, and finally made one of our wildest dreams come true, hashtag van life. We are converting a Ford Transit custom into a little home, and this for sure has been one of the most challenging projects so far in our life. Not only we're learning about van conversions, but also about patience and about holding on to the bigger vision. So through this channel, we are hoping to inspire you to chase your dreams. Please, if you want to join the journey, join the family, press like, subscribe. It really helps grow our channel. We are ready to go. We are off to Ikea, forever waiting. There he comes. <sighs> Good. So we're gonna go to Ikea because we have one of the mattresses and we've been seeing mattresses are quite common in. They're quite expensive the and the options were to buy one and do it a, like measured. How do you say that? Like Buy a custom. Yeah, a custom mattress. But we had a little one and it's full mattress and I think it's gonna be pretty easy to cut them. And then my mom is really handy with the sewing machine. Sewing or sewing? Sewing. So <laughs> I think we should do a whole episode on, on how many Spanglish, how many times this happens. So hopefully we're gonna get all the matches for IKEA. We're gonna see maybe whether the kitchen cabinets kitchen we could put units. from IKEA. And just a few more things that I have in mind. He doesn't know yet. See you there. Why do you give me that basis? I cannot try and Because it's not just gonna be a mattress, is it? We're going to IKEA, which is one of your favorite places. It's not one of my favorite places. Such a we have a nice house thanks to who? Me. Bullshit. That's what I have to say. <laughs> another thing that I've real oh oh another thing that I've realized since doing this YouTube thing is that I really need to stop swearing. So maybe you guys can keep me accountable. What do you reckon? I swear. I think a you lot. definitely need to stop swearing. I was gonna say it's a Spanish thing, but it's not because my mom tells me off and my friends tell me off a lot for swearing so much. I just find it really therapeutic. Probably it's just since living with Andrew, I have to like kind of <laughs> ooh, let it go somehow. <laughs> one and only IKEA, favorite place in the world. Get me out of here. Get me some meatballs and get me home. Yes. Sir. Also, I'm pretty sure they're using tequila for their hand sanitizer. Tequila, you make big bucks, invest in some proper stuff. When you don't know what you're doing, um, you have to look up on the other van life people's Instagrams to get what you're after. How are you getting on? Not great. Really. <laughs> I think we're currently debating whether to go for, what depth to go for in the cabinets we're buying. I think 40 is fine. Hey. 45. So it wouldn't even fit the other one. Can I work dots? I think that's definitely my favorite. Favorite one is the Colby. Well not. Deep in thought with the IKEA man. Trying to order some stuff. Keep coming up with other problems. <laughs> At least we're thinking. Isn't that right, Victoria? Yeah. She says on her phone. Probably back on around like Instagram thing somewhere. Dangerous territory as you walk into the plant section. Oh, we always, always come out of here with something. <laughs> oh no. Can't have plants in the van. So, next. Oh my god, this is literally the quickest she's ever gone through here. Bloody food hall was closed, so I haven't even had my meatballs. I thought we were in the clear. But we come downstairs and there's more. Oh, keep going. We're back. Got my hot dog, got my meatballs. What else did we buy? Yeah, we've done well today. Good shift from us. Have we? Because I don't really know what we've bought. 
we have bought the effectively the kitchen cabinets, kitchen units for what we think we want. But we've gone 37 deep because we had I think 50 or 60 cent centimeters to play with, and then we've gone one cabinet, so double cabinet of 80. Nail. One double cabinet of 80, and then another. And then, as always, the most painful bit was the queue. Tequila hand sanitizer, no good. No but good, it's disgusting. I'm a hot dog. So. So yeah, we we're hoping because it just got a, all of us a little bit too much, and we honestly our camp, carpentry is not great. So we've just gone with the IKEA cabinets. They're very simple, but we are hoping it's gonna fit properly. We are not too sure. So I mean, worst case scenario. And cheap. The real deal. Never mind about the meatballs and the hot. Homemade milk. wrap. Homemade wraps are best. With a couple of Pringles. Not sure about anyone. Do you feel the same? Like going to IKEA is really cool. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think going to IKEA is. Well, I'm lying. Going to he IKEA is really it. cool. I, I do. I love going to IKEA. But it's so exhausting. There's always so many people. Everything is always really confusing. Maybe it's just me. So we've just arrived to Wix. We have to buy all of the stuff to do the cladding, to finish the insulation and everything because the wiring has been done this weekend. As per usual, we didn't come with a lot of time, so we have... Ba -ba, wait. 20 minutes. Challenge accepted. We're gonna go, we're gonna go battens vertically down to clad to, or tongue and groove, uh, on the advice of a friend. Wiring's in, which is great news. As you can see, we've got wires everywhere. We'll show that later, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was unsuccessful. I'm desperate, honestly. They didn't have what we needed. No, that's not true. We've come here and we don't, we didn't really have a clue of what we needed. So we were looking at each other as I was going to swear, so I'm not going to do that. We were looking at each other, just like, up. Oh, no, that's really awful, I can't say that. Um, we were looking at each other, thinking the other had a clue what was going on. And, and we didn't. didn't. It's the second time that we're going to go to Wix, uh, which is just like a um, store where you get all of the bits. Sorry, it's true. Okay, come and say hello then. Oh my god, he's huge. Look how big you are, Chewy. The last time is that... We got confused with like the thickness of the button, so we were not really sure on basically what we had to do. So we've gone out to the van, we've done all the like proper measurement, and as we've said, like we're not claiming to be experts in doing this, so everything is taking a long time. We did get like warned, oh my god, straight is enough. We did get warned that that was gonna be the case, so I'm trying to stay positive, but it's hard because, you know, I just want it done and I'm excited. But at the same time, it's really frustrating when it's not only a matter of not being able, is that for me, it's really hard to like picture it in my head. And so Andrew's there trying to sort out the measurements, etc. So hopefully, fingers crossed, because that's another thing. We went to Wix. There we go. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything is fine. Because we did go to Wix last time, but they didn't have the things... I didn't have anything. Anything. By the way, this man right here, Rugby Football Union Injured Players Foundation, he's gonna do something crazy. I don't know how he's gonna do it, but he's gonna do it. We're gonna try and do four marathon distances in 12-ish hours. Uh, we're gonna start on the One road. same day, yeah, obviously. Same day. Start with the rower, so 42.2k on that. Then probably, either, well, the bike, 42.2k on that. That should be a good recovery after the row. Then the run, which will be really difficult in that stage, and then finish off with the cross trainer. So calling it the Gymathon, couldn't think of a better name. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. He's already said his mind will give up on him no, later. Yeah. yeah, so basically he's so like strong-willed that his body will like quit on him before his mind does. And I totally believe that. Not sure that's true. <laughs> After half an hour on the road yesterday, I'm not sure that's We've true. We've been for a 6k run today, and I mean, five minutes in, I wanted to give up. So I would definitely not have that mental strength, but that's all right.
right? I mean, it's just our bad. It's, let me see the time. 48, we're two minutes away. 10 minutes to six. to six, and it closes at six. And we take ages to find out everything. Why do we do this? Stewie? More exciting. Why do you have these parents? They're not normal. Not gonna lie, pretty depressing. They don't have the cladding. I mean, to be fair, we still need to do the buttons and the insulation on the walls because we've only done the floor and the ceiling. So, knowing how long everything is taking, that will take us the whole weekend, anyways. But it's just really annoying when, you know, everything takes that long because we don't have a clue of what we're doing. And then, you know, we're having to just like, I don't know. Everyone is cladding vans and walls and God knows because they, we phoned this morning to make sure they had it and they've run out. <laughs> Hello everyone. Seriously, we are encountering... Um... Setbacks. We call it setbacks. It's okay. It's fine. We're okay. So basically no, we've okay. gone to Wix and we didn't find the cladding yet because obviously with all COVID and everything, the providers are not providing as they should, which is okay because we still have to get on with finishing the insulation and stuff. So we were really happy because we've bought our second tool. So we have a sander and now we have... Um, circular saw. Yeah, circular saw. However, gone to open the box. Circular saw. Not, I don't even mind if they'd like repackaged it and got everything in there, but it's been bloody used. Very you used. Be able to see, you can see all the bloody sawdust on it. It's got the state of the blade, which clearly means it's been used. They've not replaced anything. Uh, battery's not in there and it doesn't even work. So what we wanted to do today is hit a massive roadblock. <laughs> and the annoying thing is that... Um, one, we cannot finish what we've done, and two, it's just like weeks is... An hour away, like round trip, round but trip, an hour, hour away, away is like a lot of time when you know you have to get on with stuff. And obviously, we work Monday to Friday. Well, actually, I work Monday to Sunday because I'm a yoga teacher, so it is what it is, you know. Shambles. This is what I Wicks, teach. You're a shambles. It's okay, it happens. We're all human, you know. It's just a bit of shit, but we're gonna make do the best we can and we're gonna try and get some of the. Uh, battening slash cladding, um, not cladding, so, yeah, battening up on the roof and the sides of the van. Um, cut it with a handsaw because this clearly isn't going to work. Yeah. And then um, try and get some of the insulation into the roof and, and the side walls. So we will keep you posted. We've had an impromptu siesta, not going to lie. And I've Positivity. woken up very hungry because I always wake up very hungry after a siesta. That's after true. sleeping, That's true. after falling asleep That's on very the sofa. True. Let's go. Touch that stupid itchy, itchy thing. Yeah, what you want to? Yes. That was a ball ache. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be. It's going to be so worth it at the Just end. Just a comedy, like a comedy of how to not build a van. So let me tell you what's just happened. It turns out that to drill a hole into metal is quite difficult, right? Well, you need the drill bit. We don't we have don't it. have the drill bill. <laughs> drill bill? Drill, drill bit. bit. But we have managed to put the hole and we've done some of the buttons, as so you can see. But that one is point. not fully... Um, and life for 2022 will be fun. <laughs> At least COVID will be gone. Nothing to... That's mm. Once again, I will repeat 
peep myself if they if you're a pro just don't learn from this we are learning as we go so we've put the insulation boards there and we are propping them with those buttons so they can stick to the wall uh, believe it or not it's coming along quite nicely we are gonna feel behind the boards with foam with spray foam uh, one to seal the boards and two to like you know fill the gap because there's a little bit of a gap behind it and now i'm just with a new toy show us your new toy yeah boy and, and we have a toy what are you up to short straw short straw no i have gloves and it must be like a mental thing because but there's no fiberglass in that. I mean, what are you there on about? Is. Yeah. I know it's everywhere already, so I don't know how the hell we did it last time. But yeah, so we're doing all the, wait for this word, nooks and crannies. Nice. So we're filling the nooks and crannies with this, because then we're going to put um, the button on top of there, because we're going to put our cladding. And whilst Victoria has to do that horrible job, I get to play with my new toy and cut the ply which will stick on there. Well done, girl. It's too well insulated on in here. And why are we insulating it so much? Because I'm from the best country in the world. <laughs> Spanish people get cold in England. Yeah. Just putting holes in the roof, aren't you? You need to give it some welling. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> just like does And around. that is the fun of making a van. It's not fun. Why did we do this? <laughs> yeah! Give it some wily girl. Can you see it gets like trapped? That's not your fault, yeah, it just gets stuck. But I did it. No nonsense. We are doing it. A little bit of spray foam. Spray foaming. Oh, there is a big gap, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Thoughts? I don't know. It's definitely coming out. I'm gonna say something. When I first saw, I mean- It's I still coming, it's gonna drop. Oh, shit. Like, what, what did you say? What, I sh sh sugar? Sugar! It's still coming. Cotton! But, I mean... Okay. It's gonna come, isn't it? Just leave it in behind, um... um two minutes of expansion. I think you're doing a sterling job. I'm gonna give you all a very honest review about building a van. Don't. I am full of positivity. Spray foam. I am not full of positivity. Um, I'm done with this van build. That's I not am. true. Yes, it is. Honestly, it is true. It is really difficult. I don't want to be negative, but I think it's good to just put the reality of it because I was so motivated from seeing the YouTube videos because everyone makes it look so easy. Anyways, I passed on the spray foam thing to Andrew. Really? What do you need? padrino. I've let the expert with it and he's actually really enjoying himself. Well done. That's a great job, actually. I don't think it'll expand too much more than that overnight. Well, this one. we shall find out. Wow, that's expanded quite a bit, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. I yeah. don't think it's going to go too much more. I think it's been a great idea. So before, between there and obviously the... There was gaps. Or there were huge gaps. So that is really great. So next step, insulating the ceiling. And we've run this thin ply there. And we will stick the insulation in between one and the other. So under there measuring... Very well known tool in the industry. A pair of scissors. kitchen scissors. We've roughly worked out that we think that is there. And from anything that we've learned, obviously people that would do it really well measure everything. We're not quite that 
skilled. So we're just going to go like that, send it through, give it a twist, and we think, hopefully, that the wire will then come through there. Yeah, so that's the insulation board. We've gone for 25 mil for the ceiling, and those are the... Um, that was educated. Ply board. the research on that. Um, ply that we've put on the ridges. Oh, you cannot see. Well, that's handy. I will show you in a second. <laughs> Anyways, you can see that. That's the insulation board, 25 mil for the ceiling. Which and actually fits side. pretty well. So I reckon, fit the wire through. Yeah. It's gone. You got it? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, look at that. And now we need to figure where the other one is. Yeah, I'll give it a guess again with the scissors. It won't stay. What do you mean? I'll That's going to have to come back out now. Let me find where this one is. Ah, like that. <laughs> Very professional. Scissors through. Lovely jubbly. Twist no, it round. That's it. Oh, we've lost that's the other fine, one. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. What I think we do now is we put... Oh, you're full of... What I think we do now is we put that glue here and then we stick it. Literally stick the crap it. crap glue. What do you mean the crap glue? The spray one. No, that The new Seeker Flex. Not the new one, that one. Oh, we've got one. Bollocks, I just bought another one of them. It doesn't matter, we're going to need Yeah, I think so. I think if you stick it, it'll be fine. Where's our Stanley knife? I am learning so much English vocabulary about building. <laughs> Very handy. She's a tradesman now. I'm a trades. I'm a tradeswoman. Tradesperson. Exactly. Sorry. I need to cut that right, which I can never do. Well, never know. I am learning. I need to stop damning myself so much. Not too much. I reckon everything is taking so long because I'm so stubborn that I want to do it as well. <laughs> it's more of a... Action. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. oh, I'm doing a jibber phone. Jibber phone, I know I think. I know everything. Oh yeah, how's it going for you when you're doing it your way? <laughs> Lefty is back in... Lefty's back in full force. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that's on camera. Uh, is that done? Do you think I've broken it? Yeah. No. No. Need the need the charm. Can I do it? What do you mean, conque? Ah, that's exactly what you just did. Mm -hmm. oh. to the best of people. I think that. It's also freezing and it's raining outside. Yeah, it's raining. And I'm braving wearing no socks. Perfect. No? There we go. Uh, do you think it's all dry? Maybe. Is it old? Well, it shouldn't. Day. 3,524. We still have nothing done. Yeah, we do. Progress. I mean, this is how cold it is. It's cold. Very cold. But it's okay, we'll get there. I mean, that looks like a solid van. Look at it. Walls are cladded. Ceiling well is insulated. almost insulated. We need to get it insulated really well because I do get really cold. So that's why we're Great taking a, success, a long time. Yeah, really, really good. Really good idea, actually. And it wasn't as messy. It was a little bit messy, but not as messy. I didn't get messy. So, yeah, we're just going to hopefully finish the roof today, the insulation. There's no way we can get the cladding. But we did manage to find the cladding in weeks, so that's really great news. So, time out. Yeah, 
It's just difficult. When you don't have a workshop and you haven't got like, I don't want to say the tools. We're also doing a, a transit custom, which means you can't actually stand up in it, which makes there a lot, there's a lot less space than like a sprinter or something. And um, so now we've had to stop again because we've got all of our battens that are left over are propping up the insulation to stick it in. So there's no room for us to move around and maneuver and cut and everything else. Um, biggest issue with the, everything at the minute is the rain is non-stop. So we can't do anything outside of that. Exactly, and inside the van there's literally no space to like move around. But we do have the IKEA kitchen units that we bought. So we're gonna build that and then that's another thing that's done. So yeah, I think actually- Get the kitchen ready. Yeah, I've been quite negative. I've been a negatron <laughs> for the past like however many weeks working in the All van. All the learning curve, yeah. And it's not a negatron, but it's been like a huge eye opening. I used to see all of these YouTube videos and I was like, oh, it's so easy. It's not impossible, but if you've never done it before, it's just gonna take time. Yeah. So it's not just something, and it's not the doing that takes time, it's the little, like, it's the planning before that. Like, how many materials do you need? What material do you need? Oh, what if I close off this with yeah. a, something? Now we have a wire. What happens with that wire? Where does the wire go? How do we connect the wire to the, you know, just like tiny things. But overall, I'm really happy. I mean, I think we've done a decent job so far. So far, we are still miles still a lot, away. Long, long way to go, yeah. But it's okay. We're okay. IKEA unit. Woo! Don't. 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 Andrew, you're just fighting. Why? I'm trying to do what you want. Oh.